Yo, yo, in the bottom right hand corner. We got our boy! We doing this? <laughs> Not actually done though. Even you're hovering over his name, man. Stop it, it's misleading. There you go. My bad, bro. It's all good. <laughs> he's, uh, he's classic prime, guys. Classic prime. Alright, in the top left corner, it's your boy. It's your oh, homeboy. You looked like you were about to. He's from the deep south, if you know what I mean, down the highways, in the grit. It's your boy, QXC. Come Representing complexity. Did he even have to finish high school? He's so smart. Best boy in the hood. All right, so I, I need to immediately say that for all the people that tried to mock you, because yeah. you can mock me. I I, am, I was mocked in middle school for trying to be a gangster. I, I actually, um, <laughs> I once cried at night because I walked into a, a middle school class and I was, you know, wearing big baggy clothes and stuff because I thought I was gangster. And some kid was like, what's up, Slim? And the whole class burst out laughing. It was Spanish class. Kid's name was Steve. And um, I, 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 I cried that night over that. That guy, so Steve. Upset, man. I don't know. Uh, but Tim, Tim, ooh, ooh. you've actually, you've had some crazy encounters in life that, you know, I'd say a, akin to what Marines and StarCraft experience. Yeah, man, I've been robbed at gunpoint. It's crazy, dude. In the hood. I worked in the hood. But uh, something that might happen here is uh, QXC might rob Classic of a win. Oh, yeah. So, see, you may be gangster, but at the same time, you're full of clever puns. Well, the thing is, uh, QXC actually trapped the probe into the main, so the probe didn't scout the second racks here. And the second dun, racks, dun, is, dun. It, again, the whole point of a two racks opening is to surprise your opponent. If your opponent is aware of it and they pull three to four probes off and they meet you at the bottom of the ramp, they can trade pretty effectively. Mm -hmm. But QXC could show up with extra marines uh, suddenly into the natural, and if you don't pull them off by the time they get here, with some kiting, QXC can get a bucker down and some outplaying. He can outplay his opponent and do more damage than needed here. And QXC has done all the right things to make sure that this racks was not scouted. That supply depot was pretty quick, though, if I'm not mistaken. Well, it, a lot of players are doing that now. They're going for a really quick uh, supply depot because they'll trap probes in there to kill them off. Like, it's not really that uncommon. It might alert some flags here for Classic, but it really shouldn't. Yeah, I, some, I mean, yeah, you're right. He's not making a second unit. He did Chrono Boost out the first Stalker. But here are the Marines heading around to the left-hand side of the map right now. They're going to be super sneaky. Yep. They feel like they're straight up playing Splinter Cell right now, not StarCraft 2. <laughs> That's Sam Fisher. He's a gangster too, man. Yeah? Yeah, he grew up in the hood. That's why I... he became so good at killing things. Oh. Uh, well, there is a bunker here with only a few Marines. So again, Classic with the Stalker across the middle of the map is going to be completely surprised by this. And it's only a few Marines. It's really not too much, but it's really designed to kill off about three to four pros. And that's all QXC's want to do here. And get an Akami leader than the natural. But that Stalker. It's... Stalker's almost done. It, it looks like it's going to be done in time, actually, for when these Marines do arrive. And that's just going to make such a difference. Oh, he's bringing some more Marines as well. Four here. And what he's going to do is try to pinch this Stalker as it comes back with these Marines if he doesn't run straight to the natural. And he's going straight to the natural here. He doesn't want to fire at the Nexus. You don't want to alert Classic that you're actually here. Because right now, Classic may be paying attention with the other Stalker. And look, he eats yeah. a couple of shots here where he could have actually microed that back. And that puts this Stalker in a much more dangerous position. And now QXC is going to be able to kill a couple of probes. Yeah, the Stalker coming in from behind will get some free damage in. But again, there are reinforcements available here for QXC. Comes Oops. straight into the natural. And now at this point, Classic can outmicro his opponent. But QXC as well can do the same. Charging straight forward. Got to be careful here. A force field is landed. Nice force field, keeping the Stalker alive. And QXC's full uh, aggressive attack is really nullified overall. Yeah, that force field was straight gangster. And now QXC, I mean, he's lost three workers. Uh, or he killed only three workers. Excuse me, yeah. um, and Classic is just in a—he's in a pretty good position. He didn't lose any of the Stalkers. They're, he killed off a lot of Marines. He's got to be feeling pretty good. The Stalkers sagging on life, and it was man. Two racks. That's what? You missed my joke. Sagging on life. Pants falling very low. It's, it's a gangster thing. I wouldn't even know what that means. Tim. You don't know what sagging is, man. I, we you are not this. I'm a fake gangster. Yeah, man, you're a wannabe. I was mocked, and it was true, you and so it hurt my feelings. Posing up in here because I was um, trying to pretend I wasn't. Behind this QXC does fall up into 25 SCVs and does have one mule. So really, economy's not that crazy. The thing is, he's kind of slow on tech here. He did fall up into Tech Lab, Grass, Stem Pack, has Factory, and won't be moving into a Starport. But it's getting to around the 720 mark. And at this point, you want to be getting uh, a Stargate nearly on the way. Uh, really close to being started. So again, his every level of his tech is just a little bit on the slow side. Because for a majority of the time, if you open up with like a one rex expand, you can get a nice aggressive Marine attack around 845, 9 minutes. Yep. And those timings are kind of pushed out the window here as the Stargate will be too late. Third Nexus on the way for Classic. I like it. He held off the uh, aggressive play. He knows he's going to have a lead. QXC's aggression is going to be stifled. It's going to be slowed down. Why not secure a third? And he's going to do so. I like it overall. Yeah. Yeah. Just like that, brah. Well, plus one uh, infantry weapons are on the way. 
will be keeping up in upgrades here for QXC. I wouldn't mind him going for a quick third here or going for a really aggressive all-in off two bases. Uh, there's always that possibility. He's moving into the starport and will, of course, start getting out double meta backs. So either a super aggressive ball to the wall where you're just dropping all over the place and trying to outplay your opponent because it is in Tomb Valley and we've seen the games. We know that drops can happen and they can be very effective on this map because you can drop between the main, the natural, you can go straight in the main again, then drop into the third. You can just be all over the yeah. place. Um, so there's that possibility, or I want to see him uh, really aggressive in terms of trying to get more commands in himself. We'll have to see what he opts to go for. It looks like he's going to be fairly aggressive here, but as he begins to crew money after his timing does um, finish, you know, stim plus one, all these things, what is he going to spend his money on? That's the real question. He's currently sitting on three gases. QXC, of course, we're talking about here. Uh, Classic actually has four. And his third base is complete. A couple of gateways going down for Classic Prime. And he's working on uh, Robo Bay as well, so he'll be able to make the losses here in the near future. But QXC, man, he's getting ready for this timing. Stim is complete here in just a second. Plus one, nearly done as well. And the Metavacs are on the field. All right, Sad controls his own Naga for the majority of the game as well. So uh, Prime or Classic will be a little bit late here in terms of knowing when this push is coming. In fact, his Observer should spot it. But it's already halfway across the middle of the map. Uh, so he'll have to make sure he spawns accordingly here. He does have a decent amount of units here, a good amount of force fields as well. As you can see, there's a nice amount of sentries. There are a total of four, and they're getting pretty close to being full energy, so uh, a hefty amount. Moving into Stalkers as well, some more yeah. gateways just finished up. I I feel like Prime has, or Classic's got this down, man. This, oh, yeah, he really, really should. Big, big damage um, gonna be done. Marines and Marauders coming up, but he's got enough sentries to force field units on the ground. He's got enough stalkers to deal with them if they climb into the medevac. Guardian shield goes down. Force fields cut the units pretty well. Most of them are still firing. Wow. But he does segment them off for the Zealots. Yeah, uh, the force fields weren't the best in the world. There were some still Marines back here that were getting some damage in. But again, the Zealots finally getting into the mix will make QXD pull on back. And Factory sees that, okay, there's an Immortal out, there's a good amount of Stalkers. I just need to pull away and try to um, get a drop happen, uh, if, if that's possible. And you can see four Mavex joining up with the Marauders and Marines. Behind us, we're grabbing a third. And this is the point where QXC needs to put full aggression on Classic. Uh, really wants to try and keep him from pushing across the middle of the map, because on three bases, if... Uh, Classic gets aggressive and throws down a few more gateways. He can really do a huge yeah. amount of damage. So uh, QXC wants to catch up in economy. I mean, Classic can really do anything he wants from here. He can opt to use the extra money he's going to have from his third base on gateways and units. He could also throw down a second forge and go double forge and invest very heavily into upgrades if he feels like QXC is going to bunker up and, you know, get very defensive. If he feels like QXC is also getting defensive, he can opt for a quick fourth here with the extra money he's going to have. Classic really has many different routes he can take. Only one gateway added on. He's also started plus one. Ooh, his Twilight Council is really late, though. Um, Classics didn't move into plus two quickly enough, and that might actually hurt him. Uh, that will allow QXC to catch up in upgrades. He's got plus one on the way, starting up the armory. Um, and he has plus one weapons, I believe, already, too. So, yeah, uh, QXC's going to catch up in upgrades. It's only one forge here. Uh, immediately, we have uh, Classic just move straight into plus one. But I really felt like he wanted to go into charge lots with Colossus tech behind it. Uh, so he wanted to get plus two. But again, that Twilight Council being a little bit off really throws him away from going into that aggressive route if that's what he was electing to do. So Yeah, it does slow him down a little in that regard if he wants to be aggressive. But um, QXC is going to be investing a ton into infrastructure for the next couple of minutes. So, you know, it, refineries being built, supply... Depot's, of course, going to let him keep building units. I'm expecting um, a second engineering bay here because the armory's complete. Oh, he actually already has a second engineering bay. There's plus two starting right now. So lots of things for QXC going on to prepare for this near future. But as we were suspecting, Classic does throw down the second forge. Oh, wow. Nice defense that here was from really Classic nice. as well. Uh, yeah. I was curious as to why QXC was um, queuing up that push because there was a pylon in the top right corner, uh, which he did clean up, which meant that Classic was aware of an impending drop at some point. QXC does charge straight to the third, though. The army a little bit out of position. We'll be able to kill off a couple of probes here. If he could kill off this Twilight Council, I would be so happy for him. Is he going to try and focus it down? No, unfortunately, will not be doing so. The Stalkers do hop on in, but so many medevacs here for QXC. He needs to start moving into Viking production, and there we go. Two has been queued up. <laughs> I feel like those medevacs are so slow. Like you used yeah. to be a bit of because they're just zipping and zooming. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded a lot more like an Indiana Jones whip yeah. than a medevac, man. They have whips, man. That's how they fight. They don't have gauntlet guns. They just have whips where they hit people as they walk by. Medevacs? Yeah, man. That's how they heal you? And harder to swarm. They yep. lash you? They lash you. Uh, and we're going to have an engagement in the middle of the map as QXC is forced to stem. Classic does pop Guardian Shield as well, but his army is very scary at the moment here. 
charge is about to finish up as well. So, uh, again, he'll be able to really just get on top of those Marines and Marauders and start dealing a lot of damage while the Colossus shoot from afar. To In, in order to win this, Keoxy is going to have to make a really good engagement happen. I just feel like he's... Uh, just a little bit behind, but enough for me to think that Classic will win and engage it straight up. Well, he starts his fourth before Classic, and I, I do feel in a similar way. I mean, Classic is in a really, really good position here, but well, let's see. 2-2 two -two upgrades are actually going to be fairly on time between these two guys. You can see Armor's going to finish your Classic before, and QXC is going to finish his weapons. Well, we do have QXC doing a small drop down here to the third, which actually made Classic pull all the way back, but at the same time, 4 Zelda 2 runs straight into his third, which will be able to kill off a couple of workers to have the amount as well. And looking at this, we are actually 72 to 68 Harvester, so QXC got more damage done down the third than I thought he did, mm -hmm. uh, which gives him a little bit of lead in economy, but it's a little bit on the late side here. Uh, he just finally get his lead in economy, moving into more command centers at the same time. Uh, but Classic can just move out pretty soon here. He's going to have plus 2-2 two, two finishing up, uh, which is really going to help out his composition, especially the Zealots, and Storm following up. Uh, it looks like he's going to elect to go ahead and go for his fourth, but um, I feel like the pressure could be really nice here for Classic if he's starting moving out. Yeah, because QXC's got a lot on the way getting ready to wrap up at this time. Plus two armor is about to complete. Mobius reactor is on the way. Yeah. The, Ship weapons. The longer we wait, the better QXC can get nice AMPs off and get an awesome engagement in uh, as his army is constantly moving up. He's only a little bit behind supply now, 189 to 181, which at this point really doesn't matter. I would call that even um, at this point, especially with the upgrades. Well, let's look at the units tab and compare these two guys' armies. So three Colossi, one Archon, five Templar. No ghosts for QXC though. Got a four on the way, uh, but he's going to need them for this defense if Classic wants to keep the aggression up. He's on a four base economy, which means his reinforcements are going to be really strong. If you don't crush the initial army, you're going to slowly die. Um, and that's the plan here for Classic, just to move forward and keep reinforcing. Well, he needs to get a good engage on these Colossi. It's absolutely oh my vital God. for oh him, but the God. storms <laughs> obliterating <laughs> everything for QXC. Ah, uh, it's the storms. He ate so yep. much damage there, and it's because of positioning. He's stuck on this little ramp, and Classic just keeps moving forward. The Marauders getting decent damage, and they did clear up the Zealots. The Medivacs are healing through, but the Archons are here as well. He needs to pull back and get some Zealots in the mix. Remember, he does have some pylons up at the top right corner, and QXC is forced to retreat uh, as he did get some damage done overall, but the reinforcements are too much here for Classic. Third will now start being uh, in, in danger as the Zell starts surrounding. He's still trying to contend with his engagements down here and this little choke, but you got to be careful with the Colossus being here and the number of Zealots. Uh, I just realized I was holding my breath because I can't see a way at this point that QXC is going to be able to hold it. He took far too much damage from those storms, and um, that's what you get. You know, he didn't have Ghost Man, and, you know, he was just a little bit behind, of course, because of that really, really fast start on a Classic Classic with every tech route. QXC not as quickly able to adapt there. Yeah. And actually, the Colossi are still all alive. I mean, QXC, QXC is in a dire position. He had to engage there, though, so I, don't, I can't fault him too much. It's just it really sucks because this positioning here, you're, you know, it's, it's prime for a storm. A storm hits its whole entire area, and you yep. run back and forth. You get a storm here, a storm here. You're going to take damage no matter where you go. Yep. So you either have to trade by killing off your opponent with some damage by moving forward, which you run into Colossi, or you pull back and take free damage. It's just a really bad position. And classic tips to him, man. Props to the hat to him because he made that happen. He walked up and said, okay, either you're taking my damage or you're going to die. Your choice. Well, QXC uh, doesn't have too many options at this point. 124 supply. I think a lot of it came down to QXC not seeing that third go down so quickly. Yeah. Um, he just managed to get a glimpse of that so late. And now it's looking like there's a countdown. There's an hourglass. Sand is dripping. And it's just a matter of time until QXC goes down. Well, QXC grabbing this command center here. It's a little bit on the hidden side from his opponent. Uh, gonna be walking uh, in with some high Templars and killing off some ghosts. And doesn't even trade the high Templar lands. Wow. Another really nice control there from Classic. And we'll still save the high Templars, and they will merge into an Archon. Best high Templars in a. Couldn't ask for better, honestly. Yeah. This All could be right. It. There it is. Maxed out Cla Classic Prime. QXC is not going to have too much to do here to defend this, but he does get a cons uh, Constellation Prize in killing a Colossus. Yep. There it is, GG. Wow, nice play here from Classic. We'll be bringing Prime up to 4-1 over Complexity. QXC, unfortunately, not able to get it done there. Those storms were insane. Yeah. Absolutely insane uh, out of Classic. And as you said, man,
there wasn't much that QXC could do. Yeah, it's just a weird position. You need to try and get your units on the low ground there and come around from the side and then snipe Colossi if your Vikings come from the top right. It's just, it, it's hard to decide how do I save my third because he has to at that point. You yeah. can't run your SCVs away. You already have units moving towards that third. And the thing is, if you put all your units like on the right portion, yeah. Um, he just goes like through an gets in. Exactly. He can actually, you'll have to run from the storms. You'll have to fall back from them. Yeah. So when he storms and you fall back, then he walks up the ramp and makes a left and goes into the natural. Oh, you try to chase? Force field, force field. Yeah, good luck with that. So QXC has to be in that position. And with no ghost, there was nothing he could do. Well, next for complexity is going to be essentially their ace, the one that has to come back and get an all kill to win this game. Well, not an yeah. all kill, get a few kills to win on the line. this series. It's going to be the STC. And the SEC is a bit of a player that's um, on and off, if I think is the best way to describe it. He's either completely on and he wrecks everyone, or he's completely off and he loses so everyone. True. He played in five um, regional slash satellites, uh, between I think it was three satellites and two regionals. And there was only one that he made it pretty far in, and that was the Korean regional. He got up all the way to against Bomber, I believe correctly. Which is, the Korean regional is the hardest, hardest of one. all of them. <laughs> and he's on on that thing. point. Like, but the other internationals, difficult. he lost to a few... NA players, he only made it to like round two here and there. He was completely off. It seemed like, and you can well, some of, of that's metagame too. Yeah, and um, lag as well. This, this is things to look at. But he tries all the time. It's just a matter of whether he's on or not. Uh, so, guys, if you're a complexity fan, you gotta hope. You gotta cheer in the chat. Hopefully, SUC can take it, man. We're gonna go ahead and jump into the next match after a quick commercial break. Here we go.